Welcome back guys to a brand new Ark Survival Evolved video on the channel. Today we're going to be talking about something very important and a lot of the community have been going on about it, especially if you are on official servers, because today we're going to be talking about the Giga with its new update as well as the future update for the Giga. It's pretty interesting because the Giga's gone through a lot of changes from Ark Survival Evolved. When it was first released, it was so overpowered and it kept being overpowered and there was a huge nerf for it. Then it got a bit better and now like Wildcard have been putting new updates into it, especially in the most recent update, which a lot of people are getting worried about thinking, is it going to get so overpowered again? Make sure to let me know what you think about it right now in the comment section down below, just so you guys know or whatever, you, whenever you want in the video, because we're going to be going through not only the new Giga update and the future one, but we're also going to be going through the full update of the Homestead update, which went live two days ago, because a lot of you have requested it in the comment section down below. Now, as always, if you guys do enjoy this, make sure to smash, uh, smash a like, sorry. If we can try and hit over 1,000 likes, that'll be fantastic as always. You guys smashed over 2,000 likes on the actual update video, which is amazing. Subscribe if you're not subscribed already, as we're on the road to 150,000 subscribers but let's just get straight in with the patch notes so the, the video I did two days ago I was mainly just covering the, you know the new s plus features that have come and I didn't really go into in depth about all of the other changes I sort of skipped past a few things and especially the giga one is what everyone's going on at the moment so we'll just go through, uh, through some of these things as fast as possible so you guys know um, there was like you know added new structure variant system to cycle visuals for a structure there was a few changes to the structure pickup which was enabled the pickup of the following structures of the elevator platforms elevator tracks um, electric generator grill industrial forge industrial grinder chemistry bench fabricator tech generator tech replicator and tech transmitter um, disabled the pickup of beehives as well this was all changed because people were getting very frustrated thinking why can I not pick up the industrial forge this is the most expensive thing but you guys would have seen that in my other video anyway so I'm not sure you really care about that as much well of course you care about it now but it's been in the game for a few days now there was just a few little um, things here, there was also change default for quick pickup uh, to 0.5 seconds from 1 second. Um, so these were just the structure additions from the S Plus update, so we had smooth sidewall variants, triangle foundations, triangle ceilings, triangle roofs, large 4x uh, walls, which I've been, well, I know a lot of people, that was their favourite thing with the update. Flexible pipes, flexible electrical cables, stairs with uh, freely swappable ramp variants double door frames with double doors, tech dedicated storage, which was massive for the game, and fence supports. So that was everything that we covered in the main update of the video, but there was a lot of other stuff. Now I did go through the kill rework, but not enough. And I want to go through this, but I just feel like it will be so long. Like someone said, Dom, can you please go through every single dino, what they're gonna have? And if I do really quickly, cause I wanna get to the Giga news and talk to you guys about the Giga news. Um, so the aloe is superior. Now let me just explain if you have no idea. With the new Kibble rework, if you haven't played it yet, or if you don't even get into Kibble, they've just literally, like, just said, right, we're going to get rid of the old Kibble, and it's going to work in basic, regular, simple, extraordinary, exceptional, I think the best one is extraordinary, if I'm not wrong, or exceptional, one or, one or the other, um... And uh, they're just going to do that for sep uh, separate different dinos. Obviously, the bigger ones are going to be exceptional and extraordinary, and some are going to be regular. But anyway, so, and the superiors for something like an Aloe, an the Ankylosaurus is regular, um, RG superior, Baryonyx regular. So it sort, of, it sort of works in that. You guys can work it out for yourself if you think about it. Like, the Bronto is huge, so it's going to have exceptional kibble. Um, the, you know, the giant turtle, which I never say the name of, it's regular because you see it all the time. Um, the Kano. I, I, is regular, which I suppose is about right. Compi is simple, that must be the the bottom one. Um, basic is the Dillo um, or the Dilo. Um, Dime Tradon is regular, so it kind of works in that sort of thing. You know, the Giga has exceptional kibble. Um, yeah, so I feel like it's a really awesome thing. They've talked about the kibble rework for so long, and I'm so glad it's finally in the game. If you are someone that works a lot with kibble, let me know what you think about it in the comment section down below. I'd be very interested to find out how it is all going down, because I've explained in like so many videos, 
when I'm on servers, official servers, I never touch kibble. I'm always, you know, in my tribe, there's someone who has who works on kibble. I, I work, I'm, I'm mainly the guy that goes out and tames and fights and PVPs and all that sort of stuff. That's always been my main job. Not even building. I like to build my own things, but I'm not even that great at building on Ark. So yeah, I'm just kind of the guy that just goes out and does all the sort of interesting work out in the wild. But anyway... So this is preferred kibble. If you guys want to read through this, you can pause it at the same time. Um, but I'm really, really glad they have made these changes into the game because it was massively needed. So as I said, you can pause it, but I just want to get straight into the Giga news, um, which is coming up right now. So there's a few exploits into the game. Uh, well, not added into the game, but patched in the game, which was fixed exploit related to water well, fixed exploit related to Titan downloads, fixed exploit related to Vol Volonosaurs, and fixed exploit related to platform saddles. Now, if you know any exploits in the game, guys, any meshing spots, anything like that, Take a picture of it, video it, whatever you can do. If, you see, if you're seeing someone do it, video them and everything like that. Send it over to support. You can find it on any websites. Type in ARC support. You will find it and that will get patched. It, it will 100% get patched. In another, like, it won't be instantly patched. But if you get all the information, send it over to them. You will get a response saying thank you and then the next update will be patched. So just make sure you get enough information and enough proof of this thing and it will get patched. So make sure to do that. Um, crashes, so fixed crash related to shoulder pets um, and fixed crash related to, I can never say, I don't, I don't know why I can never say the name of the words. You guys know I struggle with things like that, but you know, that's just me. So the ice dragon or the managar or whatever it is, like uh, I know I got it completely wrong there, but I just, you guys say, please can you stop calling it the ice dragon? And and I just, I'm struggling because we always call it that, but I know no one else calls it that, but I just do. So fixed issue with the breath causing flies to teleport. Um, fixed forward dash not triggering constantly um, when spamming it. Fixed freezes uh, when it freezes a dino with a rider. The rider will no longer be dismounted, but rather frozen for one second. Character frozen visual, visual effect should change more smoothly. A player frozen either standing, crouching or prone can no longer change that state. Duration of frozen player characters is now a function of health and armor rating. Duration of frozen for players characters is, is significantly reduced overall. Cheat spawning a dino should no longer cause you to get stuck on that dino if it dies while being frozen by the ice breath. Reduced ice breath damage by 25% and added new freeze immune icon. In the environment, fix buildable, buildable space outside of bounds, fix multiple holes and meshing locations, which is huge for people to find out, move desert titan player spawn point to an area inside the structure prevention zone, and fix climbable, climbable trees in extinction. Now, we're getting very close to the Giga now, so the penguins' um, a base affinity increased by 30%, so it now has its preferred kibble, ice wyverns, fix creature icon being blank, and finally, item stacks, fixed o uh, config override item max qu uh, quantity issue with raw prime meat. Now finally, we will go through the rest, but what I wanted to get to is the Giga has had an increased damage required to enrage it by 55%. Now people are uh, you know confused about that because before you could damage someone's Giga and it would throw them off and it would rage and go crazy. Now, what people are going on about at the moment is that Gigas are so much more OP right now because it takes longer to enrage them. So you can attack and attack and attack so much more with your Giga than expected. That has been by 55%. So let me know in the comment sections down below what you think about this. And as well, in a future update, the Giga is meant to get more buffs. Now, I don't know if I feel like this is the right thing to do because even before this update, the Giga definitely was not as useful as before because right at the start, people would have armies and armies of Gigas. That's all you needed. Like, you could destroy everything. Now it's starting to get more buffs again. Is this going to be bad or is this going to be good for the game? Because we don't want to get into the same spot again where the Giga is the most useful thing. It's the biggest dino in the... Well, not the biggest dino, but the you guys know what I mean, like Carnivore in the game. And... So and it needs to have one big use without it being too OP. 
but now by 55%, do you think this is too much? Like, let me know in the comment section, because I really want to find out. And then in the next update, we can find out what other buffs the Giga's going to get, because I'm worried that it could go back to the stage of when it was too crazy OP. So we'll be finding out more about that next update. This Homestead update was fantastic. I'm glad Wildcard named it in the way they did, but let's hope there's not too many buffs. Moving on with the rest of the patch notes, guys, this is all for PC and Xbox and PS4, but there was additional ones for the Xbox and PS4 too. So the Corrupted Heart, fix item to use correct icon. Mind wipe, so characters can reuse one every 24 hours. Um, UI, improved search filtering on inventory and crafting menus. Elevators, set primitive elevators, platforms and tracks to be craftable by wood instead of requiring fungal wood. And finally, moving on to the Xbox and PS4 patch notes. Fixed exploit related to tech swords, fixed exploit related to rafts on the center. Um, a little bit more stuff if you guys, I've already read for most of this stuff in an update before. Um, you know, the Ice Dragon has some more things there. Cryopods, um, as I said, you can pause the video. Um, I'm really just going to move to the sort of stuff that make a huge difference that I haven't read through before. Um, environments, uh, reduce shadow cost of some meshes. Now, I, I've, as I've made like plenty of videos on meshing, they are trying their best to sort like different meshes out to make them more, you know, n not as easy to mesh for if you guys know what I mean. They're looking for ways to stop it, but right now it's still a huge problem. Um, bear traps are now placeable again, so if you're someone on the console with the problem that you could not could not use bear traps you can now make them again so don't worry you don't end up eating them anymore you can now use bear traps um tech dinos now drop electronics and metal as intended which is fantastic i think that's a great thing because it gives you that sort of other reason for having tech dinos in the game and easier to get electronics um, movement fixed players getting stuck when moving uh, walking off foundations in single player again a huge problem that everyone has gone on about now, the Mosasaurus and Manta have also been nerfed. So, the, um, the Mosa reduced Mosasaurus speed by up to, uh, by per level by 50%. That's huge again. And then, the Manta reduced Manta speed per level up by 75%. So, the Manta... I, I understand why they've done this. And the main reason, because this glitches all over the place. You can't even shoot someone off of this, the Mantas. They're, like, too quick. Especially if someone puts all the speed into it. So, it'll be interesting to see how this happens. Um, I know a lot of mantas get like lost in the ocean or stuck in the world or something and you can lose your tame. So, it'll be interesting if that works out well. Finally, the gas bags set gas bags to mature at the rate of woolly rhinos due to similar ut utility cap... cap oh, that is just... Compatibilities. There's just too much for me there. And Desert Titan reduced. Tame Desert Titan total HP by a third. So, that is the full patch notes for the update that went live. As I said, this main video was to talk about the Giga. What's next for the Giga? Is it going to be too OP? What are Wildcard doing? We need to find out because already this one is huge. So, it'll be interesting to find out what's going to be in the next update. Now, if you are wondering when the, ne the next update is going to be, it probably won't be now for the next few weeks. Now, the PC recently had a patch to fix a lot of the S Plus problems, which I'm so sure console will have as well. But now it's finding out in the next sort of two to three weeks, what's next for the game? What's the next release of content? Some something like that. And I think that's all going to be announced in the new Community Crunch on Monday. Thank you for watching, guys. If you did enjoy, as always, smash a like. Let's try and hit over 1,000 likes. Subscribe if you are new to the the channel it really means a lot to me and i'll catch you guys in my next video see you guys later